Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems and I'm going to show you guys how to do a relative view in your drawings. So um, this might happen to you every once in a while here where uh, the standard view types that you have of you know like the front, top, and right uh, can't really grab the correct view that you want to do here. And so uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do aligned views, um, but that requires some kind of view to be um, aligning off of. Uh, so this is to me just completely standalone view, and it works really well because uh, you actually use your, part, your model right here to help define that view for yourself. Okay, so the way that it works, if we run over to our drawing, it's pretty simple. Um, I have a couple drawing views in here. I got rid of the right view because it wasn't really showing us a whole lot. And so um, what, this is basically happening when none of these views are what you're looking for here. And so all you need to do is go up to insert drawing view and relative to model. So it's not going to be by default on this view lay layout tab. I have it added on here uh, through the customize menu. You can drag it out through uh, your um, search bar right through here if you like. That's a great way to grab these guys, but um, by default it is in your insert drawing views relative to model. So once you do that, uh, basically just wants you to click on some drawing view to tell it what model you're interested in. Um, I'm just doing this up on a part right here, but you can do it on a uh, on an assembly part uh, or on a an assembly, and you can also pull out specific groups of parts that you want to show uh, with that select bodies button. Uh, one thing I want to note just about an assembly here is there's also a right click option for insert from file. So if you are in an assembly, but you just want it to be specific to one part, um, you don't want it to be relying on the assembly to define this view at all, insert from file is going to help you out. So for a part, we just click on, draw, on a drawing view here. And then all it's doing is it's letting us uh, define faces or planes as one of these view types. And then it's going to give us a view uh, based on this. So you can choose any of these, front, right, top, back, left, bottom. And then you need another one to help define it. So. Uh, all I'm going to do is say, okay, well, we're going to use this face as the front face. Um, the right face, I'm just going to use as this side one right here. And we'll say, okay. And it should give me a view to drop from this angle. So we can have this kind of angled view where we're looking at that flat, flat face straight on. Um, and that should allow us to uh, pull in um, more dimensions. We can do a model items here and pull in that whole wizard information as well so that way everything's coming in looking at the correct angle here all right that was the relative view tool pretty easy to use remember it works in assemblies as well as parts um, and it can help you get those uh, odd views that you weren't really planning for when you were uh, uh, first designing the model in SolidWorks all right, well, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, like that, if that was useful, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel or uh, find our blog on our website as well. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.